Hey guys, Maury at 316 Automotive. I wanted to catch you up on the interior repainting on the Saab right here. And so we got a little, it's going to be a little disjointed, but I'll uh, go over what we did. I lost some of the film. God, who knows where, what happened to it. So I'm going to try and redo it um, and show you what, what uh, I did. All right, stand by. Okay, in order to get ready for the painting of the the glove box, part of the thing is you got to get rid of the box itself. As you see up here, it's got all the black in there. I could tape that off, but it's just easier to do this because it's got one Torx and That is a T20. Another one here, two, so it's got four all the way around. So I'll get that off and then we'll see what that looks like. Okay, with a lot of fiddling, you can get the box out. All you gotta do is when you got it upside down like this, you take the light out, you take the six screws around the outside, and then you're going to have to, you see, let me get a good shot at it. Can't get a good shot. This clevis here, it just pulls off of, it just pulls off of this thing right there. It unsnaps. And so don't try and unsnap it yourself, just kind of pull it off and it'll, it'll separate and pop right off. Then you need to get the hinges off. And that's right here with these plastic pins. You squeeze these two uh, tabs right here with some, some uh, needle nose pliers and then get, get one of these boogers here, a panel separator, and they will pop right off, one on each side. So then you've got, you've got just the plastic that you want to paint right here. All I've got to do, since the door here, since the door is a sealed unit, otherwise I'd take off the lock, I'm going to have to tape that over and then uh, tape the little um, plunger over on either side maybe that won't even matter and then you're good to go and you're good to go with spraying this you got to wipe it all down with alcohol and then rubbing alcohol and then you'll be good to go so use a brush use a rag whatever and you'll get it done which I'm gonna do right now there's the box that's all taken apart Here's my fancy high-tech drying rack. It looks like it's in my garage. It looks like it's a workout bar. Uh, because it is. Because my other high-tech fancy drying rack, you don't need to paint the inside of the housing. The other drying rack is my front porch. And that is too windy today. So there. Don't forget the little plastic screw covers. All right, now the last thing we got to do is put the glove box back in. It's got to go right back down in there. Not going to be a big job. Then we'll put the put the sill on, the sill's back there, and we will be done. So stand by. The glove box is the reverse of installing it, is the reverse of uh, taking it out. And I showed you that a bit ago. Okay. All right, I wanna show you the seats as they're finished. And uh, the leathers came from lseat.com in Houston. 
and the uh, the workmanship went with uh, Tony Torres in um, in Tulsa here. All right, let me get in here. Tony added some uh, bolsters here and and uh, bolsters here on both sides. Makes it much much better. The original seats were fairly flat across here, and I did not like that at all. So I told him, you know, do what you need to do. Add some bolsters here and there on both sides, of course, right there as well, and and uh, and right over here on the other side, and then the sides there. And so he added some foam, and then he filled in and made it smooth, and then attached the uh, or got the uh, the new leathers uh, installed. So, and I'll tell you what, that makes it a lot better. I'll tell you what, these seats grip you and hug you. You can do some spirited driving, and you're not going to be sliding around anywhere. I love the job that these things uh, do. Now you're going to see that there's some there's some looseness here, and I asked Tony to do that because the previous seats were drum tight. They were so tight, the leather was con constricted or contracted, and it was it was uncomfortable to drive. And so I said, leave some leave some extra material. Yes, you're going to have to modify. Um, the uh, the leathers from LC a little bit. Go ahead and do that, and and he did that, and he left he left a little bit of looseness there for you know for people to sit in and to take up the slack, and uh, that's exactly what I wanted because now they are so comfortable. It's just unbelievable. I was tired of sitting on what amounted to uh, drum heads, and so this is this is great. The same thing for the back too. You can see how nice and and uh, and fitted it is. Tony did all that work, and so I could not be happier with uh, with what's going on with these seats. So, excellent job, Tony. Excellent job, Elsie. And uh, I'll do business with you guys again. Okay, the reason I repainted the interior, and yes, you can do that to leather, uh, I did the Tawny U cover here, and then I did all the side panels. That one there, over there, over there, and over here. As you Saab guys know, see the center, uh, not the center console, but the, the center insert right there, that was a, a, um, a fabric, and it was the same color as the... Um, as here and I didn't like that I wanted a little contrast and so I decided to match it up with with that segment right there and so I had my guy Tony do that and so what I did is I repainted before I brought to him all of these turned out really well but I repainted all of these and you remember on a previous episode how I cut the the uh, B pillar uh, seatbelt posts off and and sunk them down like uh, three inches two inches something like that and that's out there on the channel for you to you to do and then of course I did both sides as well and then I did under here all the kick paint right here right there and this is the only the dashboard is the only thing that that did not get repainted because it was like it was like that, so that was good. But the reason I did this was because I got the seats recovered, and Tony did those as well. Uh, Tony's Automotive Interiors in Tulsa. Uh, I got some uh, got some new leathers, and the new leathers were not exactly the same color as um, as the old ones. They were a darker shade, and I didn't like the mismatch, and so I just. I just went uh, went around and did the whole car uh, in that new color, which I, I showed you, the Krylon, whatever it is. And so uh, all you do is you wipe down the uh, the plastic or the leather or the vinyl. You just wipe it down real good with uh, isopropyl alcohol and have a, 
have a garage or some kind of place where it's not windy and just get that Krylon and you can shoot it and and then away you go it works out really well so do that if you're inclined to an interior color change Tony also did my my carpets those are just sob add-on carpets there but he did the main carpet here as well to rip the whole thing out and uh, put new padding everything underneath and so this is a whole brand new carpet because that carpet that was originally in this car looked terrible you pull the seats out I mean there's cigarette stains and just you name it golly it was terrible this car was not well taken care of of course with the previous owners and so I really brought it back to to a really nice condition so bottom line I'm really happy with how the top and the interior turned out I will definitely go back to Tony again and um, and this car is fun to drive now so this is Maury at 316 Automotive signing off